All right, here we go, Young Pinch. Welcome to Vlad TV. Yes, sir, thank you for having me, man. I'm excited. Oh, man, thank you for coming through. You've been kind of having some big songs under your belt. Yeah, I've been doing my thing, trying to. Yeah, I mean, I was going through the catalog, and just on YouTube alone, like when I was young, is that 15 million, Rock With Us 10 million, Look Like 10 million, Nightmares Little Sky 7 million, Wouldn't Be Nothing 3 million, That's My Baby with Puya 2 million, and a whole bunch of other ones that are like 1 million plus, and then you count the Spotify numbers and the multi-millions. Yeah. Like, it's crazy, bro. I got an amazing fan base. I'm really blessed. You got like a real like cult following, I feel. Yeah, core fan base. Yeah. I love it. That's a blessing to me. Yeah. Anything that I drop, they support. It's like they just want to hear me talk on beats. It's a blessing. Yeah. I mean, because it's, you know, a lot of people will have like that one hit. Mm -hmm. And they'll have people that like the song, but it yeah. seems like people are into the artist. Yeah, that's, that's one thing I was very fortunate. And one thing that we were kind of aware of just c coming into the game, you know, I didn't want to be like a one hit wonder. So it was important to me that my first project really be a good body of work. And luckily, I feel like a lot of people gravitated to that and just caught on, felt like they were a part of my lifestyle and a part of my life, so. Yeah. Well, it's your first time here. Yeah. So let's go ahead and get into your whole story. Let's do it. So you're Spanish, German, and Russian. Yeah, and a bunch of other stuff, like Europe, like Irish. I'm like a European mutt, but mainly, mainly uh, Spanish. Okay. And you grew up in Huntington Beach, California. Yeah. A.K.A. Surf City. Surf City. <laughs> now, you kind of didn't have a real typical childhood. No, not at all. Okay. You actually were raised by your grandparents mm -hmm. from like birth pretty much? Pretty much, yeah. It was probably like three, four months spurts a couple of times where I tried to live with my mom, but it never worked out really. Okay. And your parents were on drugs? Yeah. Still to this day, for sure. Okay. Do you know what kind of drugs? Uh, they were like meth, mainly. That was like a really popular drug in Orange County, or just in that time in general. So, yeah, they got stuck on that, and then, yeah, it just went down a dark path for both of them. They got stuck and never really kind of came back out of it. Okay. And your parents were actually doing drugs while your mom was still pregnant. Nah, my grandma actually, like, hoarded her up for nine months, and then two days after I got out of the hospital, three days after I got out of the hospital, she dipped again. Okay, so she got pregnant. Your grandmother said, okay. This is ours. This is, this is going to be our baby. Yeah. From that point. Mm -hmm. And she basically forced her to not go out and stay in the house so she wouldn't take drugs yeah. and potentially have a deformed baby, basically. Have a, have a crack yeah, I mean, baby. No, I'm straight. <laughs> yeah, have a, have a meth baby, basically. Yeah, it turned out fine. And as soon as she gave birth, she gave the baby up to her mother. Pretty much. And went right back to, to doing drugs again. I don't know how long it took, but yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. That's crazy. Yeah, man. It is what it is. You would think that, okay, I'm seeing this baby in front of me. I've been off drugs now for nine months. Yeah. Let me let me just keep rolling with this this newfound situation. Yeah, when you're like eighteen, I guess you don't really think like that, you know what I'm saying? So, oh, she was she got pregnant at seventeen. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so you're being raised by your grandparents, mm -hmm. and is your mother and father kind of checking in every so often? And mm, my mom always tried to like my mom like was like lightweight crazy like because of the drugs, so she would be like, "Oh, I'm gonna get custody of you, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that," but like she never was really there. Like, even after I turned eighteen, she would tell like when I whenever I seen her, she'd be like. I'm still trying to get custody of you. And I'm like, you can't even do that no more. Like, I'm already an adult. Like, you tripping. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's kind of crazy. My pops always, like, he always, like, uh, stayed at my other grandparents' house on so my other side of the family. They're, like, a pastor and stuff. So they just took care of him at day house. And he would do his thing in and out of jail, live, like, a couple, couple lights down the street from me. I wouldn't really see him at all. Hmm. Yeah. He wouldn't want to come visit his son, really? And Probably. I hated him. You hated him? As a kid, yeah. For just not being around? It's everything. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I loved okay. my grandparents. I looked at them like they were my parents, you know? Right. Well, you were lucky enough to actually have direct relatives yeah. take you in in a real nice environment. I have an amazing family on both sides. I have, um, I have like, 
hella aunts and uncles on both sides of my family that always helped take care of me as a kid. It's like both my parents are like the bad ones out of each side of the family. Everyone else is straight, but yeah. my mom is the bad one on that side and my dad the bad one on the other side. They came together to make me. <laughs> I, I have drug addicts in my family. I mean, I feel like and, everyone um, does nowadays. You know, and, and I, I, some of them took drugs while they had kids and, mm -hmm. and, and the whole nine and some of them never get to see their grandkids. And, you know, you, you see the type of long-term damage that that type of thing does to a family. Yeah, so. It's messed up. I'm sorry you had to go through it. I mean, it is what it is. Made me who I am today, so. But you had great grandparents. Yeah. Great, as in wonderful. <laughs> wonderful grandparents.